Hello, you ready for day 19? I'm so grateful that you're here and we're on the home stretch. Today's chapter is Philippians verse ch chapter 4, verse 4 through 8. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. So today's um, topic for day 19 is fear. Have you ever been so fearful that you didn't know where to turn? You didn't know what to do? You were just really frozen in your moment, in your thoughts. Sometimes we pace the floor, sometimes we do things with our hands, sometimes we tap, we hum. We have different ways that the fear manifests itself even without our utterance. Every child of God has some sort of area in their life that they may be struggling with fear. And that fear is a big tool of the enemy. Being fearful doesn't mean that we don't trust God, but if we hang on to that fear, we let it paralyze us if we don't allow God to take it from us, if we go back to that thing and pick it back up, we dig ourselves deeper and deeper into a tunnel that is difficult to get out of. So let's pray about that thing that has a root of fear within your, um, within your life, something that um, comes back to you, that reminds you and quickens that sense of fear into you. Oh Lord Jesus, when we are afraid, we will trust in you. Psalms 56 through 3. The Lord is on our side. I will not fear. What can man do to us? Psalms 118 and 6. We have not been given the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of sound mind. That's 2 Timothy 1 and 7. You, O oh Lord, are our helper, and we will not Fear what man shall do to us. Hebrews 13 and 6. Your word encourages us to trust you. So let's have this prayer. We will not be anxious for anything, Lord, but in every situation, we will pray, we will petition, and we will give thanksgiving before we see the manifestation or after, but we will praise you during all of the processes. We will give you thanksgiving through all of those processes. We will present our request to you and we will leave it there and we will not take it back up. We will leave our burdens to you. We will go forth in peace, which passes all understanding. And we will keep our heart and our mind stayed on you. We will remember Philippians 4, 6, and 7. By your stripes, we are healed and we are delivered and we will stand on the promise to not hold on to fear. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen.